Wow, I haven't done a Facebook Live in forever, but I'm having a masterclass tomorrow. So if you want to come, you can sign up at positionedforprofit.totalgenius.net. So I just wanted to do a quick video about the rule in business that nobody is talking about. And this is really important because nobody's talking about it. And it's the one rule that will set your business free. So today, somebody in my group, my fabulous uh, group of light workers called the Business Luminaries, uh, she was saying how she's doing her social media, she's everywhere, you know, she's doing her Facebook lives, and uh, she wasn't getting a lot of traction. And I, I hear this a lot. I mean, I'm a business strategist and that's what, you know, people come to me because they're having problems. And so, you know, there is, when, when people start coming to you for a certain thing, there is an underlying theme of an issue that's going on. And so this one issue about people doing the work, you know, trying to be everywhere, get on every social media app. Oh my God, I don't like video, so now I have to do Facebook Live. And it causes this, um, this confusion in your head. And so I wanna tell you about that one rule, this one rule that I can't understand why nobody is telling you. Are you ready? Because that one rule is that there are no rules. I know this is kind of crazy, but aside from the fact that you need to market your business, that you need to stand for something, that you actually need to uh, help somebody else do something that they can't do already, there are no rules. Hello, I'm the CEO of my company, of a company. So this is something that, I don't know, I mean, if you grasp it, you grasp it, and if you don't, you don't. But everybody is teaching you to build a list, to um, do live video, to write a blog post. And the reality is, um, you know, you can build your company however you want to build it because all you need are those things. You need to market your business. You need to know how you best show up. What do your clients, your potential clients, your audience, what do they need to hear from you? And where are they? Where are they hanging? Are they on Facebook? Are they in LinkedIn? Are they out in the street somewhere? What do you do? I mean, if you just do what you think will sell, that's probably not your best strength, right? I mean, I know for me, I have said from the very beginning, if all I did was teach people about business, I, I, I would go insane. So I'm a business strategist and I help people build their business, but that's not all I do. I understand the science of the mind. I understand motivation. I understand how to communicate effectively in your marketing. I've been doing it for 28 years. And so what I do for business and how I help people in their business comes very naturally to me. I'm a copywriter, but how I hear people talk, how I get their message out from out, and I mean not out just to the public, but out of them, and then how I put it into their copy is unique to me. It's how, it's, it's what makes my business different. It's the position that I stand on. It's how I transform clients. One of my clients, she lost her voice. She literally developed a severe health condition, had to quit her business for two years and lost her voice. Like she, she was unable to speak. And because she, we uncovered a block that had happened when she was a child. 
And once we repositioned her business and redeveloped it, oh my God, she's like on fire. She just told me, she just changed her LinkedIn profile and because she now has a strong position to stand on, she's already had people reach out to her because she solves an urgent problem in a very unique niche. So what I'm trying to tell you is that if you think your business is about building a list, getting on Facebook, doing all these things, then you know what? That's how your business is going to be because you just determined the rules. So, you know, when I started my business, I didn't have sales funnels. I didn't uh, build my list. I had a list of 20. I, I didn't focus on any of that because quite honestly, if, I, if I'm focused on building my list, I'm not focused on building my business. See, you make the decisions. As the CEO of a company, you actually have to decide how your company is going to run. And even if you don't have, excuse me, even if you don't have employees, you actually do have an employee. It's you. And so whether or not you're a good boss, and whether your employee does the work is all dependent on what goes on here. And so this is why I often speak out about Facebook groups and trying to learn from them is that that's fine if that's how you determine that you are going to build your business. And I have seen people get successful from that, but I've also seen people crushed and wasting all day trying to learn new things on Facebook. And as a CEO of a company, I don't know about you, but that's not how I see my success. That's not um, how I'm going to help clients. That's not how I'm going to make money. And quite honestly, that's not how I'm going to change lives. Because personally, you know, and I, I'm going to give you an assignment that will help you break the rules. So you actually need to have a mission. You need to have a mission. So I'm sure that you've heard, you know, mission statements in big, large corporations. That's not just for big, large corporations. That's actually for companies. And as I said in the beginning, you are the CEO of your company. So I need for you to go and think about your mission. Why are you in business? So sometimes I ask people that and they're like, I need to make money. That seems like a very shallow, shallow to your existence place to be. Of course you need to make money. We all need to make money. But if that's all you needed to do, then go get a job. <laughs> Why would you have a business? It's, it's, there, it's like a... Uh, an emotional uh, thing that you have to go through. I have a mission. I want to help people change lives. My real mission in life is to stop people from beating yourself up in your head. To base your business on your purpose. You were born to do something. And somebody was born to be helped by you. Sorry, but this makes me really emotional because there are so many good people out there. And I've, my clients are amazing. You're leaders. And when you waste your time doing things that you don't need to do, somebody is suffering. Somebody's like waiting for you to speak. And all that time that you spend beating yourself up in your head about why can't I learn this? Why are they making so much money? Why, why are they smiling and, and I, you know, my bank account's empty? 
instead of asking that, I just want you to ask you, what is it that you want your life to be about? At the end of your life, what do you want people saying about you at your funeral? What do you want to be thinking about? I want to be thinking about the lives that I'm changing and then the people whose businesses that, that my clients, then they go and they help people and they change lives. Your, your business is to make this world a better place. You want to find a reason why people are going to pay you money? You're going to, if you can help someone smile, help someone find the answer. You know, I know for me, I have a severe health condition. Had somebody found me like years ago when it wasn't this bad, maybe I could have been helped. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm talking like years ago before I, I developed a severe condition. You do something in your business, whatever it is. You're a graphic designer, you know, you're a life coach. You, you teach people how to find their truth. Whatever it is that you do, or let me take that back. Whatever it is that you want to do. Like I said in the beginning, that rule, there are no rules. It's like the movie, The Matrix. You're not trying to get out of the box. There is no box. There's no box. None. You can do anything you want. You can get on video right now and like be cursing up a storm. You can go naked in video. You can do whatever you want. As long as you're willing to put up with the consequences. So you know what? I speak my mind. And because of it, <laughs> there are people that don't like me. And am I the most popular person online? No. But you know what? Sometimes it does make me feel bad. And then I wake up and I say, you know, the only person that has to go to bed and lay their head on my pillow at night, the only person that has to go to bed and lay your head on your pillow every night is you. And whatever you need to do to feel like you mattered in the day, then you need to do it. And I guarantee you, it's not going to try to go get more likes on Facebook. It's not going for the goal of trying to be visible. If you stand for something, if you help other people, I guarantee you, your people will find you. And if you find that fire inside of you that makes you get over yourself, you will find a way to build your list. You will find a way to get your message out there. This is about being a visionary. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing this masterclass tomorrow. You can come if you want. I would love it if you did. It's at positionforprofit.totalgenius.net. But, you know, I'm going to talk about, this is going to like, it sounds, it sounds so funny to say this, but I'm going to talk about personal branding. Okay, when I hear the word personal branding, I'm like, oh my God, that just sounds stupid. Like, who wants to go build a personal brand? Like you're saying, you know, I want to make money. Do you know who has a personal brand? Whole Foods has a personal brand. Amazon, Apple, they all started with one person who had this ingenious idea, who had the guts to go and do something differently and position it correctly and then go for the marketing that would set them off, that would attract their tribe of people, not everybody. Because you know what? There are people that think Whole Foods is stupid. They go to Ralph's. There are people that hate Apple, hate it. They would rather have you know, Samsung or something. Do you know when Steve Jobs launched that phone, or actually before he launched it, he said, if I would have asked people what they wanted in a phone, 
they would have said like speed dial. Uh, who is this? Henry Ford said, if I would have asked people what they wanted in a vehicle or, you know, in, in for transportation, they would have said faster horses. If you are creative at all, and if you're not, and you're not getting me, then why are you listening? <laughs> if you're creative at all, you can do anything you want. You know, my mentor, his name is Mark Ching. He has this amazing nonprofit. He's a, a business called the Pet Strant, and then he's this amazing nonprofit called the Animal Hope and Wellness Foundation. And a couple of years ago, when I was sitting with him at Starbucks and we were sketching it out on a napkin, I was like, Mark, do you really want to name it that? That just sounds like weird. And I, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to be the devil's advocate. And he just had this vision this is what I'm going to do. This is, you know, this is how it's going to be. This is how I'm, you know, I don't know where it's going to be. You know, I have no idea what, you know, how it's going to run. And, and he broke every rule in the book for having a standard business. And I mean, he broke every rule. And you know what? Now, do you know what he does? Now he actually transformed his business to going to China and rescuing dogs from slaughterhouses. And he still, you know what? His rescue that we drew out on a napkin a couple of years ago is now a separate building that houses a lot of dogs that he not only brought back from China from, that he rescued from slaughterhouses, but he rescues in Los Angeles, abused, severely abused animals, and then rehabilitates them. And do you know why celebrities go to him? He is never advertised. Never. You know what? He didn't get on social media. I mean, really, like, get on it until, I think it was, like, uh, maybe, let's see, probably earlier this year. No, maybe late last year when he first did his first trip to China. And you know why people started following him? Why he's so successful, why he makes so much money at his pet restaurant store is because he had a mission. Because he wanted to save dogs' lives with what he did. So he's an herbalist and a healer. He, he's been trained since he was six years old. And so when he started his business a couple years ago, nobody was doing that. And... In fact, you know, he couldn't give away his food. Uh, he couldn't give away his food. Everyone's like, what is that? You know, we feed our dog kibble. And then people started catching on that he could cure dogs from allergies, disease, cancer. And they told their friends. And then they told their friends. And they told their friends. I use him as an example a lot because he's such a great example of somebody who stood for something and it just blew up. And so you don't have to be him, you don't have to be rescuing dogs and you can have an online business, but you have to have something that you stand for. What you do, you know, I'm a business strategist, so I help people with their businesses. You may be a life coach, you may be a graphic designer, you may be a chef. You may be a nutritionist. Whatever it is you do, you need to stand for something. And that something needs to come from inside of you. You know, what is it that you say in your head? When, when, you are, when you're alone and you're like, why can't people see that? Why are people doing that? You know, why is the world like that? That's called your unique purpose. I call it your genius. It's what your life has led you to do. It's based on your life experience and what you were trained to do. So, you know, if you're a graphic designer, you were trained to do graphic design. I spent 25 years as a shopping center retail marketing director. I know business. I've worked with businesses, hundreds of them, thousands, for so many years. And I see them, this skeletal level of business. 
I see them. I see, you know, businesses every year. It's like, where are the shoppers? Where is the clients? How do we get more, you know, people? I, I, I have friends who are, uh, who are, have their own businesses and they're multimillionaires. They're, they work with celebrities. They, they're amazing. And you know what they say? Where are the clients? Oh yeah, business is slow. It's the same thing. Here's an important thing to remember. Wherever you are in your business, is that when you are successful, this is really important, you're still you. <laughs> you're still going to have bad days. You're still going to look in the mirror and go, oh my God, I'm so fat. You're still going to wake up and have to do your laundry. Maybe you'll have someone do it for you. Your back is still going to hurt. You're still going to go and walk your dog. Sometimes you're going to laugh. And sometimes you're going to cry. Things don't change when you, you know, when you see all these things that are a representation of what, what people think business is all about, you know, that's just representation of it. So I want you to go and write your mission out, post it on your Facebook wall, come post it in my group, the business luminaries. Uh, you know why I named it that? It's because I want to change people's lives. I want the people that I work with, my BBFs, my best business friends, to be lighting up the world. Because right now, there's so many things wrong. And I'm not just talking about like war, the government, whatever. People are suffering. And they're beating themselves up in their head because they think that there, something's wrong with them. And we know better, you know, we know better. And, and as Mark used to tell me, he still tells me, but when you know better, you do better. And you know what? Now you don't have an excuse because I just told you and you know better. So now you have to do better, do better for yourself, do better for the people you serve. Do better for your family, for your kids. I promise you that, you know, however old you are, you're going to blink and you're going to say, what happened to my life? I still, to this day, I'm like, I'm 49. And what happened to my life? Yesterday, I was, I just, I felt sad. I missed my, my mom. I missed my health. I just, you know, I want to see you at, at your successful self. And so whatever rules that you need to make, just know there are no rules that are ruling your business. Claim your CEO status. I promise you, there's nothing more important than deciding how your life is going to be. You decide. Not some video, not me, not Facebook. You decide. You decide what your future is going to be, what your business is going to be. And you can even decide how much you're going to make. Just make sure you have a plan that helps you reach that. So, you know what would be great is if you wrote out your mission, maybe you wrote it below this video. Because I want to show other people how we're going to change the world with our mission, what we stand for, what you believe in. So, I hope that that, you know, has helped you shed a little light on your business situation. And if you want to come join me tomorrow in my masterclass, it's about personal branding and uh, the secrets. So there's a couple of secrets that nobody's telling you <laughs> that I want to share with you. And you can find that at positionsforprofit.totalgenius.net. I'm Shauna Yao. 
You can find me at the Business Luminaries on Facebook. Uh, you can message me anytime and share this with a friend. Talk to you guys later. Bye.